Thank you.
as we have the procession of the members of the temple of the Nanamanata.
would like to take the opening hymn, Land of Our Birth. The first and second stanzas is behind your program. Chairman for this honorable vocation, members of the Time Board of the Medical and Dental Council, our invited guests, distinguished personalities, parents, friends from the media, our newly qualified physician assistant. Good morning to you all. You are welcome to the induction ceremony of the Medical and Dental Council. At this moment, I would like to call on the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyubala, to give us the call to order and the purpose of gathering. Shall we please welcome the registrar? Thank you very much, Mr. Apiagi. Apologies for the less than pleasant voice. That is because I'm just pulling through some cold. Fortunately, not the one that we dread these days. Madam Chairperson, this special meeting of the term board and Dental Council is respectfully called order. Permit me to introduce to you members of the term board here present. To my extreme left is a professor of surgery, dean of the School of Medicine, the University of Development Studies, Tamale, and a representative of the deans on the term board, Professor Stephen Tabri. Thank you. Next is a consultant retired banker, Mr. Samuel Ajapon, and a lay representative on the board. Next to him is Mrs. Stella Atima Beidu, Chief State Attorney and the Attorney General's representative on the board. <laughs> Madam Chairperson, with your kind leave, may I skip the next two people and introduce the next lady. She is a district director of health services in the Eastern region and a representative of the physician's assistant groups, those in anesthesia, 
oral health and medicine generally. She is Miss Rebecca Bante. <laughs> Next to her is a consultant physician, endocrinologist, and a senior lecturer at the University of Ghana Medical School, the Greater Accra Regional Chairperson of the Ghana Medical Association, and the representative of the Medical Doctors Group on the 10th board, Dr. N.S. York. <clears throat> a gentleman with a colorful smoke is our own Deputy Minister of Health, representing the Honorable Minister for this function and also a member of the 10th board, Honorable Mahama Seni. The other part I didn't add is that he says he's the rural man MP. The lady in the chair, the chairperson for today's ceremony is a former chief dental officer of the Minister of Health. In fact, under her tenure, dental services received great expansion and progress. She is currently the representative of the dental surgeons on the 10th board, and she is Dr. Constance Adoyebo. <laughs> Chairperson, invited guests, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, as we may already be aware, the Medical and Dental Council is the statutory agency under the Minister of Health charged with the responsibility for the professional regulation of doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in Ghana. The object of counsel as provided for under Section 26 of Part 2 of the Health Professions Regulatory Bodies Act of 2013, Act 857, is to secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. In furtherance of its object, the council is mandated to perform, among other things, the following functions. Ensure that pre-registration training of newly qualified doctors, dentists, and physician assistants in accredited training institutions meets the required standards. Conduct examinations for the registration of foreign trained medical and dental practitioners and physician assistants. Compile and keep registers of registered practitioners and prescribe and enforce professional standards and conduct for practitioners. Chairperson, Honorable Minister ably represented by the Honorable Deputy Minister for Health, Honorable Mahama Asay Seni, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here this morning to induct into the profession some 349 newly qualified physician assistants in the area of medicine generally, oral health and anesthesia. So while I welcome you all to, to this program, please be reminded that COVID-19 remains with us. And as such, I humbly request all of us to comply with the Ministry of Health and Ghana Health Service and the WHO COVID-19 guidance and protocols, which are still in force. I also welcome our online audience watching this event live on our Facebook handle. Ladies and gentlemen, these physician assistants are drawn from the Anglican University College in Kranza, Central University, Prom Prom, College of Health and Wellbeing, King Tampo, College of Health, Yamfu, Garden City University College, Kumasi, Nabita College, Tema, Presbyterian University College, Agogo, Radford University College, Accra, School of Anesthesia, 37 Military Hospital, Accra, School of Anesthesia, Greater Accra Regional Hospital, Accra, School of Anesthesia, Confonoche Teaching Hospital, Kumasi, University for Development Studies, Tamale, University of Cape Coast, Cape Coast, 
University of Health and Allied Sciences, who, and a foreign trained practitioner who passed Council's licentiate examination. Chairperson, permit me at this time to address our inductees. You would have had in the course of your training some responsibilities in the care of patients. These patient responsibilities were, however, directly borne by your teachers. So your transition from yesterday's students to professionals today implies that human lives are now being directly entrusted in your care. Dear in that is, what this means is that from today, a greater responsibility in the care of patients will be laid right at your feet as you take the role of frontline professionals. This low role also literally includes the responsibility to decide between life and death. It is therefore important that having met the basic training requirements, the council that supervises your basic training formally admits you into the profession, registers you, and regulates your pre-registration practice, commonly referred to as internship. You will be eligible for permanent registration only after you have met the pre-registration standards as earlier explained to you during the pre-induction professional ethics and medical jurisprudence seminar yesterday. In that is, due to the rapidly changing nature of science, medicine, and technology, as well as the changing professional regulatory landscape, Council now ensures that your registration on the provisional register involves the open declaration of your commitment to the profession, science, and society. Ladies and gentlemen, may I at this point respectfully remind all of us of the shared value of counsel, guiding the professions, protecting the public. Towards the aforestated ends, counsel's regulatory focus has been on professional accountability aimed at promoting and protecting public health, safety, and well-being, assuring and maintaining confidence and trust in the profession and its members, promoting and maintaining public confidence in the healthcare system, and prescribing and enforcing professional standards and conduct for registered practitioners. Here in that is, you will be required to sign the provisional registration certificate, which gives you the legal authority to commence your internship. The occasion is also to afford you newly qualified practitioners the opportunity to interact with senior members of the profession. You had a session on the ethics and law that govern our practice yesterday. It therefore behoves you to be fully aware of your responsibilities during the internship. And please remember that council will continue to monitor and track your performance as interns in Ghana. While on behalf of the management of council, I congratulate our newly qualified physician assistants and welcome them to the noble, honorable, and learned profession of medicine, they must remember that great professional practice experience requires of them a gentle smile, a listening ear, a kind heart, calm nerves, a critical and reflective mind, an unalloyed commitment to lifelong learning, a humble, decent, gentle, and reassuring persona, all of these clothed in integrity and respect for human dignity. Ladies and gentlemen, to our professionals leading the fight against our COVID-19 pandemic, we still continue to salute you for the great job you are doing. And our heartfelt condolences continue to go out to our professional associations and families of all colleagues who paid the ultimate price in defense of humanity. Please be consoled that our colleagues served humanity and their nation well, and the profession is proud of their contribution. Finally, Chairperson, Honorable Deputy Minister, ladies and gentlemen, 
our friends from the media, you are all warmly welcome to this very important ceremony. And it is our hope that you enjoy the program. We thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Dr. Divine Banyubala, the registrar for the Medical and Dental Council. Maybe now listen to a song from President King Youth Choir. Minister of Health, members of the TEM Board of the Medical and Dental Council, our invited guests, 
we've come to a very important part of this program. That is the roll call of inductees. And once again, I have the singular honor to invite the registrar, Dr. Divine Banyubala, to do us the honor. Shall we please welcome him? Thank you very much. Now, friends, there are a few basic rules to this roll call. One of the things that key values that we wish to instill in all practitioners regulated by council is the spirit of teamwork and shared responsibility. So we start that from the induction. Our inductees are sitting in a row. So I know that there are family and friends here. And once they hear their relative's name, the temptation is to clap. For the purposes of this roll call, please resist that temptation. Until you hear the last name on that cohort is mentioned. And before that last name, you are going to hear end before the name follows. Then we share the applause, teamwork, shared responsibility. The other parts are that some of them come from different parts of this country. Some are able to bring their entire family here. Others came without anybody. And we want to make sure that in the healthcare team, teamwork, good spirit, shared responsibility flows. Now also, we are differently abled vertically. So we want to see every one of them who is standing up. So after your cohort's names are given and the applause is given, that role will sit down. And then once we mention your name, you stand up, you stand up to the end. So audience, let me test using myself as the last person on the court before we get into it. So you will hear end divine Banyubala. Excellent. Then we are good to go. Morris Abba, Abdul Samad Ahmed Abaka, Ayuba Abdul Karim, Husheni Abdul Muntaru, Muniru Abdul Hafiz, Sam Sudin Abdul Rahman, Collins Abwaji, David Abora, Musa Apukar Abugbila, Christopher Sani Abu. Benis Achampon, Dennis Kweku Achampon, Susanna Achampon, Lois Ichia, Said Kwame Akwa, Baki Adams, Emmanuel Adakwa, Priscilla Adakwa, Derek Adai, Ebenezer Gerald Ajay, Grace Ajay, Nicholas Amponsa Ajay, Juliet Ajay Hene, Clement Ajay Pepra, Sandra Na Adoli, Sandra Frimpon Adama, Evans Edu, Andrew Eduako, Eugenia Afo, Samuel Afram, Michael Afre, Isaac Anani Efriye, Felicia Louisa Odru Efriye, Felicia Agbaja, Anthony Salasi Agbeko. Daniel Wavunu Kwami Agbele, Felicity Mawuse Agbemenu, and Doris Agbenyaga. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Noble Agbatome, Beatrice Agilgo. Christian Ajapon, Kofi Ajapon, Gloria Ajay, Bismarck Nana Ajman, 
Richard Etonam Ajiman, Isaac Della Aheto, Samira Ahmed, Caleb Yao Aholu, Detia Nanama Angre, Bismarck Edu, Abna Pokua Ajako, Calvin Akolgo, Amos Yao Ako, Gifty Ozu Ako, Emmanuel Apao Akrasi, Njigul Nlansamba Albert, Fusheni Al Hassan, Isahaku Al Hassan, Samuel Atimbla Ali, Yasmin Ali, Patience Alote, Isaaka Amadu, Bright Amankona, Seth Mpre Amankwa, Victoria Amankwa, Rita Ya Amenani, Matthew Kofi Ametepe, Joyce Ametome, John Emisa, Emmanuel Amwa, Evans Amwa, Georgina Amwak, Benedicta Amwaku, Nadia Abankwa Ampoma, Stephen Amponsa Buafu, Emmanuel Etuahini Bafo Amponsa, Yusuf Aneli, Mark Anlaku, and Michael Anan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Emmanuel Anchi, Kingsley Guido Anchi, Samuel Opoku Anchi, Samuel Anchi Bosiakon, Samuel Apusiwini Anyoka, Batilda, the person win, Apia Winnie, Precious Apenuvo, Stephen Apia J, Joseph Apia, Abigail Apia. Daniel Osebunsu Apia, Doreen Alvina Apia, Luis Apia, Samuel Asante Apia, Dominic Ako, Bright Arthur, Deborah Arthur, Enoch Batafu Arthur, Mavis Asamoa, Nancy Asamoa, Prince Asamoa, Isaac Asante, Deborah. Asari, Ebenezer, Asari, Rachel, Nyakua, Asari, Emmanuel, Asensu, Samuel, Asidu, Caleb, Asem, Emanuela, Asmani, Ellen, Asubroni, Vivian, Etuabia, Peter, Abobere, Etuia, Emmanuel, Etuahini, Akolgo, Michael, Atule, Jela Awani, Frank Gache Angre, Olivia Azanori, Alenga Samadu Baba, Dennis Kofi Baji, Joshua Bafo, Emmanuel Bafo, Judith Bafo Ewa, Henry Bedu, Vida Safua Bamfo, Amidu Adam. Bawa, Samuel Bayo, and Victoria Aura Bayo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please don't let the applause die down because it's been a hard, long period of hard work and grace of God. Francis Bentum, Emmanuel Bisa, Akosua. Brago, Chelsea Nana Ya Bliss, Joshua Opon Boachi, Benjamin Boachi Edgeman, Sarah Konedu Boachi, Sylvia Boachi, Victor Adinkra Boachi, Kwajo Bekun Boachi Ansa, Emmanuel Wama, Frida Boatima, Benjamin Boatin, Constance Boatin, Kojo Boating, Prince Boating, Gordon Boating, Michael Boating, Richard Ajenim Boating, Albert Bokur, Ishmael Joab Bombigu, Joycelyn 
Kwambat, Bruce, Ebenezer, Hinaku, Budu, Siaka, Bukari, Stephen, Busi, Evelyn, Betty, Kaiko, Alexandra, Koba, Dego Emmanuel, Constantine, Yvonne, W, Emmanuel, Dazi, Joseph, Budu, Dazi, Flivi, Mawufemo, Danjo, Calvin, Einstein, Danso, Helen, Yabua, Dako, Mfa, Dao, Paul, Enes, Davo, Aisha, Dawood, Gabriel, Jimajo, Christine, Dogoy, Amos, Zema, Donyur, Talma, Akofa, Donyo, Eric, Kankubata, Dozi, and Isaac, Dia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kwajo Jwabeng Agboka Emmanuel, Vincent Ebo Mbin, Ngenu Evelyn Esnam, Michael Kwabna Fayome, Bismarck Tete Foise, Ellen Forson, Henry Forson, Navis Fosu, Jennifer Fosu Jima, Desmond Frumpon Edu, Daniel Frumpon, Jennifer Enam Fumi, Bizola Joshua, Baltica Ganda, Michael Elon Gaso, Ruth Latele Gavo, Sandra Bandi, Marianne Anima Jetria, Malik Hassan, Hussein Adams Isa, Christopher Bijabdo Jato, John Ayram Kwabla Jevunu, Apao Mensa Jonathan, Abani Mbonibe Joseph, Fuwa Karakari Ajman, Maureen Clay, Samuel Kodia, Isaac Combat, David Asari, Ko Lete, Patience Kote, Samuel Sowa Boti, Nakual Kuchando, Thomas Do Kudozia, Benjamin Onoma Kumi, Felix Kumi, Rebecca Kumtu, Bio Yao Kupo, Ishmael Kusi, Juliana Kuta, Leticia Kwachi, Nicholas Kwarten, and Peter Kofi Kawudadi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Josephine Chirama, Lillian Chirami, Abigail Dufier Chirami, Samson Lamte, Jonathan Lawe, Yajira Yaw Lechu, Bijom Madibmuk, Abdul Majid Mahama Tia, Charles Mahama, Florence Jama Manison, Nana Ama Adi Mantia. Judith Na Kotioko Mark Sowa, Asa Mary, Daniel Nakwaja Mbaradak, Mercy Ose Mensa, Nana Bunzu Mensa, Nana Nketiaba Mensa, Jennifer Brakun Minta, Prince Charles de Graf Minta, Abdulaziz Muhammad, Muhammad Kamil Mutawakil. Goslav Napi, Pam Pampanku Nakpan, Mahubu Nantoma, Eunice Ata Nanchi, Evans Ndou, David Jagger Negarbi, Paul Ose Nemako, Robert Bafo Nketia, Joseph Nong Mirbir, Samuel Littman Norman, Emmanuel Ado Nyade, Bright Ewuku Nyado, 
Alice, Deborah, Nyantichi, Patience, Nyako, Prince, Augustine, Ntim, Nyako, Isaac, Amankwa, Odro, Clinsford, Ofori, Odro, Olivia, Sapoma, Odro, Clinton, Matthias, Ofori, Daniel, Boatin, Ofori, Magdalene, Albright, Oforiwa, Obed, Kobina, Opari, Abigail, Apau, Opoku, Charles, Achampon, Opoku, Vasit, Opoku, Ajman, Abraham, Nana, Opon, Ebenezer, Boachi, Opon, Muhammad, Opon, Norbert, Minta, Opon, Samuel, Boating, Opon, and Kofi, Omponi, Dente. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A J Y or Sir Solomon Boydi or Sir Louis or Sir Bonsu, Regina Do or C or Sir Bruhan Dean Osman, Roland Osman, Sani Osman, Gilbert Archery, Desmond Nyaku Otu, Stephanie Kaki Otumfu, Bernard Ousu Mensa, Enoch Ousu. Gideon Ousu, Jennifer Ousu, Vida Ajman Ousuwa, Charlotte Ousu Dia, Eugenia Ousu Nyako, Bacha Philip, Ousu Mensa Prince, Genevieve Abna Kwashi, Ejewa Rahinatu, Kingsley Promise Sabla, Darlington Kwame Sechi, Haruna Salifu, Janet Sam, John Kwame Sam, Daniel Sando, Anthony Kwabina Safu, John Safu, Rosemary Sarkodia Ado, Albert Sapon, Gilbert Techi Sapon, Ernest Sapon, Peter Kweku Sapon, Yakubu Sayuti, Anna Skek, Richmond Sribo, Janet Somia, Benjamin Susu, Kamel Muhammad Suleiman, and Wahid Suleimana. Thank you very much. Bright Tabiri Frimpong, Emmanuel Tando, Joseph Tete, Dennis Tete, Ernest Tete, Mary Sowa Tete, Al Hassan James Tia, Prosper Topari, Sebastian Elom, To Pulizo, Maxwell Kwame, Towo, Agbemo, Chapo, Joseph Obin to four, Gifty Miracle to four, Rebecca Chunibua, Ebenezer Chum, Kwabna Ankra Chumesi, Samira Usman, Ajwa Ejewa Asha, Ramatu Utman, Idrisu Wahabu, Frederick Warden, Ali Hamza Wematu, Adamu Idrisu Wepia, Michael Wilson, Jonathan Wood, Beatrice Yani, Theophilus Yanke Jr., Edward Fifi Yani, Linda Efua Yani, Augustine Yabua, Josephine Yabua, Bernard Yabua, Edmond Yabua, Elizabeth Ntibia Yabua, Luther Martin Yabua, Michael Yabua, Samuel Ayiba Idana, Kwabna Kurantin Yirenchi, Aisha Yusuf, Della Gladson Zoto, Richard Tete Ako, Muhammad Awal Suglo Al Hassan, Frank Emisa, and Albertina Mariam Sampa. Thank you very much. May I now kindly request all in that things to be upstanding. Please don your white coats. And uh, media men and women, please make sure you capture every single person's face. 
It's a public commitment to the people of Ghana and to humanity, to the profession and to science. This is because during your professional practice, we expect that any time you are within the healthcare environment, you should be appropriately, professionally, attired at all times. And you will have your unique name tags with your registration numbers. So that when you behave badly, it's easy for the members of the public to report your misconduct. You had the whole of yesterday where you were taken through pre-induction professional ethics and medical jurisprudence seminar. You also had a foreknowledge of the physician assistant oath that you are about to take. I give you one minute. Those of you who for some reason you have looked through the oath overnight, you feel that you are unable to commit and abide by the details of the oath, we give you the opportunity to please exit now. I see no movement out of the hall. Madam Chairperson, there be no movement, may I now respectfully present to the 10th board 349 physician assistants for admission into the noble professions of medicine and dentistry. Respectfully submitted chairperson. Thank you, Mr. Registrar. Would you like to put your hands on your chest? And you will say after me with commitment and feeling what you are about to swear. So we'll begin. And when you say ah, you mention your name, and then we continue. So I pledge to perform the following duties with honesty and dedication. I will hold as my primary responsibility the health, safety, welfare, and dignity of all human beings. I will uphold the tenets of patient's autonomy, beneficence, non-malfeasance, and justice. I will recognize and promote the value of diversity. I will treat equally all persons who seek my care. I will hold in confidence the information shared in the course of my practice. I will assess my personal capabilities and limitations, striving always to improve my actively seek to expand my knowledge and skills, keeping abreast with advances in medicine and dentistry. I will work with other members of the healthcare team 
to provide compassionate and effective care for clients. I will use my knowledge and experience to contribute to improve the health of the community. I will respect my professional relationship with the medical and dental practitioners and teachers. I will share and expand knowledge within the profession. These duties are pledged with sincerity and upon my honor. Good. Congratulations to the noble profession. And you keep standing for the So please remain standing. May I now call on the Honorable Deputy Minister, Honorable Mahama Saini, to lead us into the recital of the National Pledge. So keep standing. Patriotism. Maybe so. The oath has been admitted to live with what? Ghana. The National Pledge. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and with all my heart. I promise to hold in high esteem our heritage won for us through the blood and toll of our fathers. And I pledge myself in all things to uphold and defend the good name of Ghana. So help, so help me God. Thank you. Congratulations. Can you give yourself bigger applause? Shall we all be upstanding, please? Madam Chairperson, with your kind permission, may I recognize our dignitaries who have been able to grace this honorable occasion. Without any particular order, may I recognize the presence of a medical educationist, currently a member of the Technical Committee of the Medical and Dental Council for harmonization of the medical and dental training curriculum in Ghana in the person of Dr. Edna Chikoye Kasul. I also have from the head of anesthesia department, 37 military hospital, 
School of Anesthesia in the person of Colonel Dr. M. K. N. Kutin. We have the senior administrator, School of Anesthesia, 37 Military Hospital, in the person of Benedicta Edinkra. <laughs> Next on my list is also from, it's from UHAS. He's the head of the PA program and also representing the dean, School of Medicine, UHAS. He's the person of Dr. Wisdom Kluche Azanu. From the Pentecost University, the acting dean, and also the former director general of Ghana Health Service, in the person of Dr. Ebenezer Apia Densha. We also have from the School of Anesthesia, 37 Military Hospital, in the person of Isaac Mark Asante from the administration. From the College of Health, Yanfo, head of PA program, is in the person of Dr. Kufi Kuranche. <laughs> we have the acting dean, School of Medicine and Health Sciences, Central University, Mutual Tema, in the person of Dr. Sevia Ajanti. We have from the whole teaching hospital, the CEO in the person of Dr. John Tampori. We have the general secretary for Ghana Physician Association, Physician Assistant Association, in the person of Peter Ayram Kwenyefu. We have the director for the School of Anesthesia, Ridge in the person of Dr. Evans Atito Na. <laughs> Representing the CEO for National Health Insurance Authority is the Deputy Director of Claims in the person of Mr. Baba Sedix Zankawa Esquire. From the University of Cape Coast, Department of Physician Assistant, the head of department in the person of Dr. Stephen Okanse. <laughs> we have with us the rep representing the registrar, Pharmacy Council, in the person of Mr. Kenneth Simmons. <laughs> also, from the Pharmacy Council, is the head of corporate affairs the person of Madame Victoria Aye. Thank you all for making it to this program. We will now take the address of the chairperson for this occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the singular honor to call on Dr. Constance Ado Yobo to deliver the address for this occasion. Shall we please welcome Dr. Ado Yobo? Thank you, Mr. Apiezi. Medical and Dental Council, uh, including the Honorable Minister, Deputy Minister for Health, uh, Mr. Mahama Sini, distinguished invited heads of institutions and organizations, other distinguished guests, inductees, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to you all. I'd like to congratulate 
the inductees for the great effort that they put in into realizing their dream of becoming physician assistants. We give thanks to the Almighty who has brought you this far. The Medical and Dental Council was mandated by the Ministry of Health in 2010 to set the standards for the regulation of physician assistants whose training and practice in certain aspects of medicine and dentistry are in line with international regulatory best practices. The philosophy underlying this policy agenda is to ensure that PAs discharge their duties under the guidance and supervision of registered physicians or dental surgeons in good standing with the Medical and Dental Council. As physician assistants, you are expected to examine, prescribe, request for diagnostic tests under the supervision of physicians or surgeons. You may have entered your training program with a nursing background or a straight qualification from senior secondary school with WASI. Council has observed over the years that those with the nursing background have an added advantage in training than their counterparts who entered directly from WASI. Council is therefore looking at the option of recommending a post-basic qualification as a prerequisite for entry into a PA training program. Physician assistants are middle-level cadre of health care providers. In Ghana, we use the term physician assistant generically to refer to three distinct, distinct groups of healthcare professionals trained in the medical model to practice medicine and dentistry. The PA Medical was formerly known as Medical Assistants. PA Dental, formerly known as Community Oral Health Officers, and PA Anesthesia, also known as Certified Registered Nurse Anesthetists. Physician assistants can work independently, especially in the rural areas, with or without doctors, but ultimately working under supervision. Now, supervision in this context can be described in four different levels personal supervision, direct supervision, indirect supervision, and finally, general supervision. Now, all these levels of supervision must be within a scope of practice determined by the regulator, in this case, the Medical and Dental Council. But your employer, the Ministry of Health, CHAG, quasi-government organizations or any other organization that you may find yourself in will ultimately determine the modalities for the supervision with the guidance of the Medical and Dental Council. But broadly speaking, most physician assistants would be working under the level of the general supervision level where supervision or the tax or the procedures do not require the presence of the physician or surgeon on the premises at the time the tasks are performed. Last year, the Medical and Dental Council launched the scope of practice document for PEs. This is a source manual to guide the practice of all three cadres of physician assistants practicing within the healthcare delivery system in Ghana. Now, this book is available and spells out the limit to which you can go, or in other words, what you can do and what you cannot do. 
Referral, therefore, is important when you realize that your case management goes beyond your capabilities. Your training should allow you to recognize cases that are not within your scope, but you should be able to provide initial treatment for the relief of pain and then refer to the nearest hospital that can manage the case effectively. The Medical and Dental Council will closely monitor your adherence to the principles of this document so that as physician assistants, you will be working in your own lane. Physician assistants are expected to provide a good standard of practice and care. And by keeping your professional knowledge and skills up to date, as well as recognizing and working within your limits of competence, you have to work with your colleagues in the ways that best serve the patient's interests. You have to treat your patients as individuals and respect their dignity. Treat patients politely and considerately, respecting their rights and confidentiality. Develop a cordial, respectful working relationship with your seniors and consult your supervisors whenever in doubt. From here, you'll be doing a period of in, an internship. You would undergo a one-year period of internship at a recognized and accredited hospital or institution before being permanently registered by the Medical and Dental Council. I would urge you to take this period of training seriously because that is when you get hands-on experience on the job. You may be exposed to a variety of tasks or procedures which may not necessarily fall within your scope. But the caution here is to observe and not to be tempted to go beyond your limit as spelled out in the scope of practice document. Now permit me to talk about some career progression pathways. As PAs, you'll be expected to participate in continuing medical education, or what we call CPD, Continuous Professional Development Programs, which is required to maintain your certification and license with the Medical and Dental Council. Physician assistants who are young and have the zeal to study, may join the Graduate Entry Medical Program, GEMP, which is now ongoing in a few of the universities, to train as doctors. You are advised to consider this option seriously, if you so wish, and try and dialogue with your employer or the Ministry of Health to explore ways of getting steady leave with pay to pursue this career pathway. And I think the onus is on you to explore some of these options so that you can eventually become a doctor. There is no other conversion pathway. Remember, if you want to progress further, you will need to go to medical school. So if you are young enough, you may start thinking about it. Alternatively, you may also follow the academic career pathway to engage in a master's program or a PhD to teach in the universities. That does not entitle you still to work as a doctor. Finally, I would like to urge you to spend your time as a physician assistant seriously. It is a journey filled with amazing experiences. And remember that you are personally accountable for your professional practice and must always be prepared to justify your decisions and your actions. May I take this opportunity to wish you all the best in your endeavors. It's been a great honor to present this address to you and I hope 
we would look forward to a brighter future. God bless you all and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Constance Adoyobo, the chairperson for this occasion. You are personally accountable for your professional decision, and you must be prepared to justify your decision always. Shall we please listen to some music songs from President King? And at this time, our newly qualified, the latest, hottest physician assistants in town are to show us their dancing skills. The morning one was just a warm up, so we now want to see how best you can dance. So, President King Youth Choir, the floor is now open. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, President King. Thank you. You may please have your seats. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can we give President King a very big applause? Thank you, President King Youth Choir. I think I should have bring the bowl for the offering. Right? So please be reminded we are still in the induction mode and it's a solemn occasion. You may please take your seats as we take the speech from the Honorable Deputy Minister. Honorable Chairman, for this occasion, Madam Chairperson, I would like to call on Honorable Mama Seni, the Honorable Deputy Minister, to deliver his address. Shall we please welcome the Deputy Minister for her? We are still in morning. Good morning. Uh, this is the day the Lord has given us. Let's clap hands for ourselves. Uh, I must say, I think the government of Ghana is proud of you. The Medical and Dental Council is proud of you. And me in particular is very proud of you. Because I know a lot of you will go to the rural constituencies. As you, your secretary said, Madam Chairperson of the 10th Board of Council, members of the 10th Board of Council, deans and directors, invited guests, the media, ladies and gentlemen. I'm greatly delighted and feel honored to address you on the occasion of the induction into the profession of medical, some 349 newly qualified physician assistants to augment the current strength of about 6,402 physician assistants serving in various parts of the country. Inductees, May I take this opportunity to offer you all very well-deserved, healthy, healthy congratulations on your success. I further wish to commend your families, guidance, and all who contributed to your success. And of course, I extend a special appreciation to your lecturers, mentors, and the patients who can they allow you to learn through them an important sacrifice that, that should not be lost on you. Madam Chairperson, I am particularly happy that the ministry is receiving into our full another batch of freshly qualified physician assistants into the profession of medicine from Anglo-University College in Kwanzaa, 
Central University Pram Pram, College of Health and Wellbeing Kintampo, College of Health Yangfo, Garden City University Kumasi Kumasi, Nabita College Tama, Presbyterian College, Presbyterian University College Agogo, Longford University College Accra, School of Anesthesia 37 Military Accra, School of Anesthesia Greater Accra Regional Hospital Accra, School of Anesthesia Confonoche Teaching Hospital Kumasi, University of Development Studies Tamale, University of Cape Coast, Cape Coast, University of Allied, University of Health and Allied Sciences, who, and foreign trained uh, uh, medical practitioners. Madam Chairperson, I wish to touch on the issue of the attitude and conduct of healthcare professionals. In keeping with the high regards that the society accords to healthcare professionals, the society highly expects a correspondingly high standard of professionalism and conduct. As, as, consequence, as a consequence, the object of counsel, as provided by, as provided in the part two of the Health Professional Regulatory Body Act at 2013 at 857, is to secure in the public interest the highest standards in the training and practice of medicine and dentistry in Ghana. Madam Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, regrettably, I repeat, regrettably, once the layer, regrettably, often the layer of specialist knowledge and success, if not properly managed, tend to result in bloated egos or inconsiderate conduct and may make one lose his humanity, the capacity to care. Ladies and gentlemen, any keen follower of the health sector or healthcare report, uh, reportage would have noticed that recent media reportage is replaced, replaced with claims of professional negligence, improper conduct, and unethical behavior by our doctors, dentists, physician assistants, nurses, pharmacists, etc., etc. The very people who you openly swore an oath and committed themselves to serve us in our most, in our most vulnerable states are now our abusers. This is unacceptable. I repeat, this is unacceptable. In accordance with my ministry's focus on issues of professional and institutional accountability, the country is to delimit the areas of practice that are appropriate to the level of training of all registered practitioners. In line with above, Council has developed a large scope of practice guide, guidance for physician assistants and to ensure the practice within the competency level conferred by their training. The development of the super, supervision models should be the Council's topmost priority activity for 2023. We are also aware of the low standard of training in some of the physician assistant training schools. The country is to conduct monitoring visits to all accredited physician assistant training schools. So as well as training schools. And any training school which shows that it is no longer in compliance with the custody standards will be decredited, deaccredited. Ladies and gentlemen, 
will require the support of all stakeholders to advance the quality of medical training and practice of medicine and dentistry for our collective goods as a nation. The Ministry on its part will conduct a needs assessment to know the number of physicians assistants required to deliver optimal health care services. In the light of the Ministry's policy focuses on developing the network of practice areas accord around health centers where physician assistants will be the key practitioners at the sub-district level. Madam Chairperson, the Ministry looks forward to a long working relationship with these newly qualified professionals, but they must remember the oath they took today. This pre, the oath they took today, the pre-induction lectures in medical professionalism and conduct, professional ethics and medical jurisprudence that council organized for them and serve our people with diligence, integrity, dedication, and respect. They must not forget their faith, and I'm certain that God will more than meet their needs. I wish you great success in your chosen career. God, God bless you. He's all, God bless you all and bless our nation, Ghana, and make her soon and make her great and strong. And I am going to special appeal. You were told by our CEO that I am what a royal MP. I told somebody to I'm a royal MP coming from Savannah region. The, the, it's called the Boy Mankaro constituency. It used to be classified as the overseas of Ghana. Today is no more overseas. And as I'm talking, I have two big health centers, but no physis, no single physician. And since I came to the ministry, this ministry, I've been inducting you into this particular, this international. This. Still, nobody is there. On my part, I will try as much as possible for us to get clearance for you. And when we get the clearance, <laughs> and they will, they will send you, go to the boy. The boy man can constituency, go and serve them. You say, oh, you come to me, minister. Me, I don't want to go to the boy. That day, I think the commander in chief of Ghana on first will come with his gun. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs> A big applause for the Honorable Deputy Minister. He calls himself the Rural MP. Thank you, Honorable. We are so grateful. Madam Chairperson, members of the Time Board of the Medical and Dental Council, distinguished personalities, it's now time for the vote of thanks. And I'd like to invite one of our latest, hottest physician assistant in town, in the person of Prince Ousu Mensa, to deliver the vote of thanks. Shall we please give up to him? Good morning. Madam Chairperson, the Honorable Deputy Minister of Health, it is a great honor to propose the vote of thanks for this honorable occasion. Catherine Tempest once said, Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parents 
of all of them. If we look around the world and the war between Russia and Ukraine, the earthquakes and the lives that it has claimed in Turkey and Syria, then we must be very thankful to the Almighty God, the maker of heaven and earth, the master craftsman in the midst of divine craftsmen, for his sustenance and provisions, for the second and sound peace and still weather, he has graced our induction ceremony with. He alone deserves our first acknowledgement and appreciation. Again, we express our profound gratitude to the Deputy Minister of Health, who is also a rural MP. For gracing this occasion, we are honored. We also express our appreciation to the Chairman of the 10th Board of the Medical and Dental Council, Dr. Constance Adoibo, for gracing this our honorable occasion with her presence, not forgetting the registrar to the Medical and Dental Council, Dr. Divine Banyubala, for bringing a lot of things into limelight during his presentation yesterday and today as well. We are very much grateful to you and the entire board members for putting up everything together. Our heartfelt thanks to the various deans and heads of departments from the various physician assistants and CRA training institutions for their valuable contributions towards our training and most importantly, their presence today. To the head of registration, Medical and Dental Council, Mr. Apiaje and his team for the excellent organization of this program. We are very much grateful. To the Ghana Physician Assistant Association and the Association of Certified Registered Anesthetists and all dignitaries and representatives, we are honored and grateful for your presence. To our parents, relatives, and sponsors, we thank you so much for coming. Your encouragement and guidance over these four years of our study has brought us this far. To the youth choir, oh my God. That was an awesome performance, full of verse and vitality. We are grateful to you. This would not have been complete without the media. We thank all members of the media for the invincing interest in covering this August occasion. And finally, to myself and my colleague in that tease, <sighs> it hasn't been easy. Congratulations once again. Celebrate today than never before because you have achieved a milestone. Thank you for being cooperative from the registration throughout to the end of this program. It is my prayer that as we commence our practice, we will exhibit a high sense of professionalism and good standard in the very corner in which we find ourselves. God bless Ghana. God bless our noble profession and make us great and strong. Thank you. And to you for giving us the vote of thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the program.
at this moment, I would like all the inductees to be upstanding. Put everything down. We're going to give a very big applause to our parents for paying the fees. I've not finished. Hold on, 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 hold on. We are giving the applause to our parents and guidance who sponsored us throughout the education, paying both the legal and the illegal fees. Those that they know their names, those that they can't mention. Come on, shall we give it to them? To all the parents. Thank you for sponsoring us. Thank you to all parents. We are so grateful. You may please have your seat. So thank you all parents and guidance for sponsoring our education. Continue to support us because government is not paying us now. All right? Thank you. We also want to thank President King Youth Choir for the wonderful melodious songs. Can we give it to President King Youth Choir? President King has been to every single induction we've organized since 2014. 2014. Rex. Rex, to your team, next year we are celebrating 10 years. No fees and charges for your inductions. <laughs> we want to thank ASP Rafik and his team from the Continuous Education Services. Can we give it to them? For streaming this event live. They've been with us throughout the COVID period and we still see the need to bring them here for parents and guidance, friends who could not make it to watch us live as we do the event. And I was watching and a number of people were watching us online and that is very beautiful. So we have another program here tomorrow, and that will be for the doctors. And for your dance, I'll come with a score after tomorrow's program. We'll see which one was better. Thank you all for coming to this program. We'll have the recession of the members of the high table, and they will be followed by our invited guests. After that, all newly qualified physician assistants should please remain standing as we take our certificates and logbooks. Shall we all be upstanding? My name is Richard J, Head of Registration, Medical and Dental Council. Thank you. So we are taking the closing hymn. That is Land of Our Birth. The seventh and eighth stanzas.
continue to remain standing as we have the recession of the members of the high table and our invited guests. You may please have your seats. Congratulations once again. All right, so it's over now. We will want to give you your certificate and logbooks. So just indulge us. That's about 15 minutes to 12. It was less than two hours. I know some people are catching their bus back to the Savannah and the Northeast and Northwest and other places. But we'll do our best to do it very snappy. Just bear with us.